Uh, hello everyone, uh, my name is Rick Ader. I'm uh, VP of Sales at Silicon Creations. We're here at the 59th DAC in San Francisco. Uh, we were here last year in December, and now we're here in July, and we're happy to be back. Uh, the show is going pretty well for us. Um, just a quick five or 10 minute presentation about our company. Um, it's a bit of a status update for the company. We don't have a specific theme to the presentation except to bring you up to speed of what we're up to these days. Um, so just a few bullet points. Uh, we're proven in the 3 nanometer in TSMC, uh, our PLL product line, and I'll go into that a little bit. I uh, want to talk a little bit about our LC PLL uh, offering. Uh, we have a new architecture uh, brought on uh, within the past year or two, and we have some nice statistics um, from that product. Uh, talk a little bit about our Certes uh, product offering, uh, supporting up to 32 gigabits uh, per second, PCIe Gen 5. And uh, lastly, a little bit word about our Foundry support. We're expanding in uh, Intel and Samsung. And uh, of course, we're very much involved with support of our customers, TSMC customers, uh, so much so that we've won the Mixed Signal IP vendor of the year, five years running. So I'll move on to the next slide. 3 nanometer IP story is uh, quite a, a, a good one, uh, at least from our perspective. Uh, we have PLLs and oscillators in 3 nanometer today. Um, we have some silicon proven IP in 3 nanometer. Uh, this is a bit of a, a laundry list of the IPs that we have today off the shelf uh, available to provide to our 3 nanometer customers. We have, of course, typically start our portfolio rollout in new process nodes by uh, developing and um, porting and optimizing our fractional PLL uh, uh, product line. Uh, along with that, alongside that, we typically introduce a low integer PLL, uh, core voltage PLL. Also have a IoT PLL for uh, IoT devices for low kilohertz uh, level uh, input clocks. Uh, and then we also have what we're calling a, you know, clocking solution um, IP uh, sort of expanding the portfolio of our IPs serving the clocking space on your chip. So CML buffers and MUX for clock distribution. And we also introduce a relatively new product called our frequency generator, uh, targeting uh, dynamic uh, DFS, dynamic frequency scaling. Uh, that is also in three nanometer. We've had that product since five nanometer in TSMC. So that's a quick rundown about our uh, three nanometer activity. Moving on to the next Topic, I mentioned um, that we have a LCPLL. Um, we've developed and presented or, or, or delivered to customers LCPLLs for uh, at least five to 10 years now. Um, but what's different about our LCPLL offering now is it's highly digital and we're achieving some extremely great um, performance numbers as low as uh, under 400 femtoseconds for broadband jitter. So we have this uh, in six nanometer test chip. So we have silicon proven IP here in TSMC six nanometer. The area is extremely small at 0.1 millimeters squared. And uh, we're actively porting this into TSMC FinFET nodes such as 1216. I think we have a, a little picture here of, uh, of some of the measurements we've taken from this test chip. Uh, as it states, we're, we're looking at better than 300 femtoseconds RMS jitter, um, you know, measured, measured at under 400. So we're very excited about this product. We have it um, rolled out to a few customers already, uh, deployed on their SOCs, and uh, it's just a matter of time when we move this to different FinFET nodes, such as 12, 16, possibly three, um, already in six and seven. So the, another side of our business, we're, we're largely known for our PLLs and clocking solutions. Uh, the other half of our business is CERTES, multi, uh, CERTES uh, PMAs, and we have a kind of a platform multi-protocol CERTES that we've been promoting since uh, about 2014 or 15 when we, um, we introduced the multi-protocol CERTES to our lead customer, MicroSemi, who is now Microchip. Uh, we have expanded this CERTES to different uh, platform nodes, which I'll talk about in the next slide. But we're talking about up to 33 gigabits per second uh, data rate and supporting multiple protocols, uh, well over 20 protocols, um, including PCI Gen 1 through 5, DisplayPort, USB, uh, JSD, uh, a lot of the Ethernet standards. 
And uh, really great uh, power, power numbers. We have listed here short reach at less than five picojoules per bit, which we can optimize even further. Um, so the kind of high level summary shot of our multi-protocol CERTES uh, platform, we have the green and blue colors here. Green means that it's silicon proven in customers' hands and uh, in chips out in the world. We have uh, all these different process nodes, 40 nanometer in global and TSMC, UMC 28, um, and TSMC 12 and 16. The blue bars represent um, uh, in development. Actually, the TSMC 6 nanometer is a low latency version of this multi-protocol series that's actually shipped out to two lead customers already. And the global 12 LP is going to be supporting uh, 33 gigabits per second, or PCI Gen 5. Uh, that also is on a test chip. So the blue is getting very closer to green in both of those cases. All of these are the standards that we're supporting. We don't need to go one by one, but it's a, a, a large number of them. And we work with the leading edge or the, the leading controller partners for supporting these standards. So we collaborate with them to deliver the, the PMA and the controller to create the five for our customers. Uh, last topic is our foundry support. Um, this is a kind of older slide from our uh, slide set um, showing all the different foundries we've worked with over the years. TSMC is, uh, is a large um, foundry for us, of course. Um, if we take all the foundry we support we do and uh, have done and are capable of supporting today, we have this list of FinFET, FDSOI, and CMOS um, process nodes. Uh, in the past uh, 12 to 18 months, we've uh, made some strides in supporting Samsung and Intel Foundry services specifically. So we're supporting uh, uh, IFS 16 at Intel uh, with GDS available today. And in Samsung, we've uh, expanded our portfolio quite a bit, especially in our PLL space at 4, 5, 7, 8, 10, 14, and um, 28 FDSOI has been there for a while. So in summary, uh, we're providing our innovative IP across very uh, wide range of platforms. Um, all the way down to 3 nanometer, but also su supporting markets in uh, planar nodes and, and other FinFET nodes. And uh, with the vast um, knowledge and customer success we've had over the years, over 300 customers, over 400 products, we feel like we're a very low risk choice for what we're calling clocking solutions, not just PLLs, but also IP supporting your clocking requirements and CERTES uh, multi-protocol PMAs. All right, they think that's it. Thank you very much.